Y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it's worth. Let's get this merch. Subscribe to the PDH Network. Come to you with another edition of Money Mention Mondays. And today, the topic of discussion is going to be the late Young Dolph's estate properties. And so, as we have all come to find out in bits and pieces, Young Dolph was known to have a very impressive real estate portfolio. And so, it is estimated that he has a portfolio worth around $25 million. And this includes over 100 real estate properties across Memphis. And so, you know, just based on that size of portfolio, over 100 properties, it's worth kind of breaking down and talking about what this means logistically. So, you know, based on the real estate market in South Memphis, which is probably going to be where most of his properties were, there are foreclosures in that real estate market for the, you know, 30,000s, you know, low 30,000s, 40,000, 50,000. And these are for three bedroom, four bedroom houses with pretty nice yards. And so there were lots of real estate options out in Memphis and, you know, even going back in time when Young Dolph was starting to acquire these properties, the market was probably even better. And so I'm sure the value of all of his properties is only increasing more and more by the day. As we know, the real estate market is on an influx right now. So as they would say, it is a seller's market, meaning that all of the real estate values are skyrocketed. So there is no area that you can really think of that doesn't have a higher premium on the cost of land versus what it was, you know, 5, 10, 15 years ago. So with that said, the fact that Young Dolph had the foresight and the wherewithal to plan for his future, for the lineage of his family's future, for his kids and all of his you know, friends and family to buy and acquire this real estate you know, throughout his time within the industry and outside of the industry is really, really excellent. And in a way, it is a legacy that is outside of his kids, but it also incorporates his kids, which is a beautiful thing. And so even on the high end, just thinking about the South Memphis real estate area, even houses on the high end are more around $250,000 around that bar ballpark. So, you know, that's on the high end for one of the more, you know, spacious, you know, higher square footage, more acreage real estate areas. And so keeping that in mind, as many properties as he owned, you know, being over a hundred in estimation, that can be spread out throughout a variety of areas in South Mem Memphis. You know, it would be strategic of him and Dolph being such a strategic thinker that we know him to be, I'm sure that he spread out those purchases in a way that, you know, was thoughtful and made sense logistically and made sense financially. And so chances are he started in the area that he grew up in. So he's reported to have grown up in Castilia Heights area in South Memphis. And so perhaps there are some some uh, of his real estate portfolio is spread out or ways around Castilia Heights. It may go on a little further into like Imogene Heights area. Now Imogene Heights area is a, a little like neighboring to Castilia Heights. But then there's also some other areas such as like Fair Hill, and Fair, and Fair Lawn City. And so a lot of these different areas could be where a lot of his properties are spread, you know, all within the overall general area of where he grew up, which is Castilia Heights. And so in addition to that, it's important for us to kind of do the math on this. So let's, let's, let's break this down. Okay, let's, let's, let's do our numbers. Let's crunch our numbers on this. So if Dolph owned over a hundred properties, and let's say, let's say just half of those properties or around somewhere around half of those hundred properties 
were on like the higher price range. So as I mentioned before, the higher end is like 250,000 price range for, you know, one, one uh, house. And so if even half his portfolio was on the high end of 250,000 each, that would total at least 12.5 million in real estate properties alone by itself. And so if we're really considering how fast the real estate market has skyrocketed in the recent even year, then chances are 25 million may even be a little modest. So 12.5 million, just if half of his properties were on the higher end of value. And then even if some of the other properties were in the mid range of like $100,000 in value, that still would further stack up on top of his real estate portfolio value to where he could be sitting on upwards of 50, you know, within a couple of years, the way that the real estate market is building. And it, it is noted too, you know, outside of, you know, I'm more mentioning right now, Young Doss properties that were, you know, residential properties. But in addition to that, he was known to be a pretty heavy investor in commercial real estate. And when I say commercial real estate, that's more dealing with store, storefronts, right? So places where um, supply and demand is happening and there is, you know, items being sold. So um, different stores and shops. And so among uh, the commercial real estate that he was known to have invested in is Makita's Cookies. And so if we were to consider the fact that he not only invested in regular like residential properties, but then also commercial real estate. Well, that further shows his, his strategic thought in diversifying his real estate portfolio and to make it more lucrative later for his family and his legacy. And I just want to be sure to mention that what's really excellent about Young Dolph's acumen when it comes to acquiring properties is that he was also known to purchase multiple foreclosures for his kids on their birthdays, which is so awesome to hear about. And so his son, Trey Thornton, he was born back in June 2014, and he's uh, seven years old. And so if he were to be getting two properties even per birthday, that's four, 14 properties total. So at seven years old, Trey could be in ownership of 14 properties per se. And if those were even on the low end portfolio value of 30,000, 30, young Trey could be sitting on $420,000, almost a half a million dollars worth of real estate. Now, isn't that a beautiful thing for a seven-year-old um, boy to have to kind of work his way up from? And in addition, little Ari, Ari Thornton, born in April 2017, is four years old. And so even if she was getting two foreclosures each birthday, her portfolio could be built up to uh, around 100K or more by now. And so that is just so awesome to hear about the excellent portfolio that him, Young Dolph, rest in peace, as well as his kids, uh, Ari and Trey, have to work with in the future. And so uh, I, I commend Young Dolph on having the foresight to set this legacy up for himself, but then also for his kids as they live on um, and, and, you know, represent his memory. And rest in peace, Young Dolph. Uh, condolences to his friends, family, and fans. And uh, this has been another rendition of Money Mention Mondays. And as always, y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it's worth. Let's get this merch. Subscribe to the PDH Network.